paradise and what it is. It's something that I've been thinking about throughout my work quite a lot. And it felt like painting is a really good way of trying to approach that and experience what that is like. Michael Armitage ist ein junger, zeitgenössischer Künstler, der aus Kenia ursprünglich kommt, inzwischen in Nairobi und in London lebt und der tatsächlich ähm, auf sehr faszinierende Art und Weise Aspekte aus beiden Räumen verbindet. Die Ausstellung beginnt mit einer Gruppe von Tiergemälden. You walk through the doors and then you're kind of greeted with all these animals. They were these irresistible characters that would take you down a different path. Er entlarvt letzten Endes den exotisierenden und erotisierenden Blick auf den Raum Afrika über diese Bilder. The issues of exoticism for me was mirrored in the act of looking at animals. How you other something that you perceive it to not be like yourself gives you a distance so you can treat it differently. It's very similar to the distance that's created when you're looking at animals. Ein Raum widmet sich den Landschaftsgemälden von Michael Armitage. Native Kenyans, indigenous Kenyans, when they painted the landscape, it was almost like it was another character. It wasn't an attempt at trying to replicate what they saw in front of them. It had almost this cultural presence. Besonders ist, dass er nicht auf traditioneller Leinwand arbeitet, sondern auf einem Naturmaterial namens Lubuku. Lubugo bark literally translates as funeral bark, so it's a funeral cloth. And that's basically the cloth which is the fabric I use as the base of all my paintings. The process for making it is kind of extraordinary. It takes quite a while and involves first scraping the outer bark. This is then peeled off the tree, then singed with a fire, and then it's beaten over several hours. And it turns from being a hard bark into a soft cloth. Das Material, das durchaus Bruchstellen oder Nahtstellen hat oder Löcher aufweist und dadurch dem ganzen Werk natürlich auch eine skulpturale Qualität gibt und es quasi in eine neue Traditionslinie stellt, die eben nicht unbedingt der europäischen Malerei entspringt. in einem Raum präsentiert werden, die Figurendarstellungen von Michael Armitage, um die sich tatsächlich eine ja, Geschichte rankt. I will pull from Western art history as well, as from a Kenyan narrative, so that it helps me tell the story that I'm interested in telling. For example, in the painting Antigone, that's using the story of Antigone to talk about social pressure on women in Kenya, that if they get married, that then they will become a better person and be more valid within society. And it was a way of questioning that. Ein Raum ist dann einer Werkgruppe gewidmet von acht Gemälden, die sich mit den kenianischen Wahlen auseinandersetzen und dann eigentlich eine neue Form des Gruppenbilds entwickelt. I began to be interested in this idea of a politician saying, I'm going to lead you to the promised land. That led me to attending the last opposition rally before our elections in 2017 in Kenya. At the rally, the visually most appealing and striking supporters were not only at that rally, but they were at every single rally. So they were paid to kind of go around and create support and create the energy. When the rallies turned violent, they were also the ones who were being shot at by the police. And it became really dubious to me that if one of these guys was shot and he died, he would become a martyr, a martyr who's paid to be that. Trying to approach that through a painting, it would be interesting to 
take that person's position and refer it to paintings of martyrs in Western art history, which the most obvious martyr perhaps is, is Jesus. Dann haben wir sozusagen noch eine Art Brain oder Mind Room, wo man in seinen Kopf quasi und in seine Ideenentwicklung einsteigen kann. Looking at not only the process for making the paintings, but looking at influence and how close in some instances, you know, some of my own paintings take from, from other artists and in particular from East African artists. There's a last part of the exhibition where there's influences on my work. So artists that I've looked at, um, people that I grew up around, which looks at figurative painting from the 60s all the way through to the late 90s, early 2000s. Michael Armitage gehört wirklich zu den spannendsten Stimmen in der Malerei aktuell. To me it was important to bring cultural histories, the people, the stories, the narratives that exist in the land and as much as I can into the paintings so that the paintings have a relevance. Musik